Hello, hello, and welcome back to Password. You're here with the Ozzy boy. He's he's rather cute on this on this day. It's it's cute how he treats Roswell. He he's a good lad. He do do the thing. I wish I wish there was a CG for when he pick up the the Roswell. That would have been cute. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. I step away from him to sit down uh, by his desk. Uh, talking to Sal and Tyson could wait, but Oswin came to join me. You're talking about my motives. In a sense. You're talking about how my decision is to do nothing and watch all my friends die. Wait, you're talking about... Okay. Or actively kill one of them to save the rest. A horrible deed to commit... Uh, the most good. And, is it worth it? You tell me. He huffed, uh, through his nose, eyes narrowing, yeah, narrowing behind those glasses of his. You can see what my, uh, wait, what effect my sins had on me, boy. But, uh, wait, yeah, what? Yes. Uh, what I had to give up as punishment. You look miserable. What else? But you're still fighting. For something or someone, I don't know. For you, Roswell. Me? What? I could feel my body tense up and begin to shake. I didn't understand. I know that expression. You're worth fighting for. If only for a little bit longer. That... what? Be because you're my uncle? Because it is the right thing to do, and nothing more. Because I'm dying? Not entirely. Then what? I'm doomed to die? I'm living as best I can with what time there is left, but... That doesn't mean you should be fighting for me. There's no hope at the end of this road. So what? You're telling me to give up. Yes. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. But why are you fighting for me? What do you what do you get out of it? Do I need a reason to want to fight for my nephew? You're so caught up in saving Dave that who's saving you? I c it can't be. Oh, I can't be. It's why I'm the I'm the best one to pick. When it comes to collateral damage, or sacrifice, or being put in harm's way. It's just the most logical option. And you're really fine with that? I'm resolved with it, yes. That doesn't answer the question. What I mean to say, that I'm terrified that one day I'll go to sleep and not wake up. That, that day is going to come... Uh, going to be sometime within the next week. Well, everyone's in danger. Roswell, that's not what I meant. Then what do you mean? He got up, uh, wandered over to a shelf, and looked around for something. Then he suddenly stopped, his hand going to his pocket before returning empty-handed. Die. Want you to try and remember something? Okay. What? Do you remember when Thanatos woke up? What did he- what he did? Yeah. He seemed to be a, a mess, and I felt bad that my little rat friend was upset. Do you remember what you did right after? Yeah. I didn't fight it, letting my uncle hug me carefully, and gently- wait, and gently, unlike how he grabbed me the previous two times already. And do you remember- what you asked of me, one day, one day out of the blue. Do you remember how scared you were when you asked? I asked if you could help me save my friends. Thanatos had finally told me everything. And what did I say? That you'd help. That it wasn't going to be easy. And that there were going to be hard decisions. But that you'd help. And I helped you because you mean a great deal to me, Roswell. I helped because at the end of the day, I didn't want to sit by and watch people die again. Even after? 
the medical trial was a mistake by a naive man who threw caution to the wind to do good. I'm not about to let you do the same thing if I can. I could hear him sniffle, though he didn't move his hands away to wipe away any tears he was crying. I do not wish to watch you die a pointless death. I do not wish to watch your precious final moments in my life be wasted away in despair from watching those you care about die horrible deaths. Even knowing that I was doomed? That if I saved them, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it? Did you ask yourself that question when you made your decision? Was it made in hopes that you'd be able to spend time with them? No. Just that they'd get to keep living. He didn't have his glasses in that shot, did he? Okay. <laughs> so if you uh, say that you want to come into the woods with me, because you feel it'll keep your friends safe, I will not fight you. I may not want it, but the decision is yours to make. You know something, Oswin? <laughs> what, Roswell? For a great wizard, you sure do make a great magician's assistant. Thank you, dearest nephew. I should probably go talk to Sal or Tyson or something. Try and make sure there's a plan in case things go wrong out there. All right, but before you go, may I make a selfish request? Depends on the request. Could you, um, call me? You know what, it's not important, never mind. I wandered closer to the door, as he seemed to make himself busy suddenly, stopping as I went to leave. Thanks for the hug, uncle. He snapped up quickly to look at me, eyes hinting that he was uh, holding back from saying something else, or hoping that I could hear whatever thoughts were going through his head. Unfortunately for him, as much as I liked, the, I liked the occult, I couldn't read minds. I just had to stay focused on getting done oh, what I needed to before it was too late. I closed the entryway into the, into the basement behind me. Hearing movement down here, my eyes wandered over to the gym, and I nodded hopeful that I'd find at least one or two I was looking for in here. Hello, anyone here? The moment I called out, the smell hit me. <laughs> uh, not of sweat or anything like that, but the dust from the lack of lack of use now airborne from being disturbed. Roswell, uh, how are you? <sighs> Sal looked over to Tyson, who was busy lifting weights. He didn't even uh, seem to register that I'd arrived. I arrived, though he could wait. I'm doing okay, just okay though. All right. Hey, I didn't mean to bother you, but can we talk? Uh, me? Yeah, it's kind of important. I can come by later if I'm interrupting, but, um... We both briefly looked over to Tyson, who seemed to be in his own world as he lifted the same weight over and over in a slow, repeated movement. You'll be fine for a while. Uh, let's step off to the side, given I should uh, keep an eye out in case something goes wrong. We did as he suggested, and just, and gestured, yes. I could start talking. Okay. I, I, I understand the sentence. I've, I've caught up. Although I realized that I uh, hadn't really prepared anything specific. I wanted to talk about uh, later today, if that's alright. About you heading off with Dominic. Yeah. Alright. What about it? Well... If I head into the woods, and the worst happens, I want to make sure that there's a plan to, you know, keep you all safe. Have you all been thinking about what to do? Admittedly, not really. Though it would have been, been nice. We're still hoping for the best. Any plan we make, assuming failure, isn't great for morale at the, at the moment. But what if something go does go wrong? What if it's um, bad enough that you have to act or die? I understand, but perhaps don't go assuming things uh, will be that bad. 
Though realistically, things aren't great at the moment. So, I want to know that if I go out there, when I go out there, we have a plan in case I don't make it back. Have you spoken to anyone else about this? I mentioned it to Dave. He's hopefully keeping Orlando distracted, but, you know. He nodded knowingly, uh, looking over to Tyson briefly. If you do not return, know that we'll be like that we'll be likely not wanting to move in case uh, you're just late. But in doing that, you risk Memphis arriving instead. It is a difficult situation to be put in. Uh, hey. It's the boy. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Uh, I'm just so excited every time Thanatos shows up. It's it's bad. Because <laughs> he's he's just a rattle. He's just a robot rattle. <laughs> oh, hello. You two doing anything interesting? No? Great. Uh, I need to borrow Roswell for a bit. Me? Why? I don't want to explain it here. Just follow. Is there a reason? Gee. I'm sure there is, Sal. No, oh, well, all right. You're not going to ask what the reason is? I'm inclined to believe it'll, uh, he'll skirt around the truth, or flat out deny me anyway. I would ask to follow, but leaving Tyson unsupervised seems like a poor choice. Ah, right, well, I'll fill you in when I come back. I need to talk to Tyson anyway, so hopefully he's less busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can we go now? He led the way out of the gym towards the stairs, and then once we were safely out of view of the gym, he scurried onto my shoulder. Emerging from the side corridor, I checked to see if the coast was clear. From what I could see, Haas and Dean were standing just outside the back door, looking out into the woods. Thanatos pointed me in the direction of one of the side rooms, and I headed there quickly, just in case someone spotted me on their sh spotted him on my shoulder. All right, what's wrong? What happened? He jumped off my shoulder onto the back of one of the sofas and began to pace uh, <laughs> along its length. That's adorable. <laughs> I I took the moment to close the door quietly. I'm getting all the quickly and quietlys right, guys. I've got look. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Uh, so we had a little more freedom to talk. We have a problem. A big problem. How big a problem are we talking? The biggest. That doesn't narrow it down. I finished checking my memory. It's bad. So Dave still dies? On the last loop. It was my fault. And before you go complaining, I already apologized. How did it happen? From what I remember, we went with my plan to knock you out. Which, I'll remind you, was against what I wanted. Way to rub salt in the wound. But anyway, it's bad. Um, uh, meat hook? Thankfully not. Not this time. I, uh, shuddered at the memory of it. One of the first, and with it more frequent, nightmares uh, that I had been given by the rat. Alright, well... You still remember him dying that way, don't you? Yeah, in that, uh, wait, in that shack out in the middle of nowhere. But don't remember anything about how you got out that way. Beats me. I can only assume that Orlando and I went looking for Dave in the woods for some reason. Which is sort of what happened here. Happens here. You just said there was no hook. There isn't, wasn't. You know what I mean. So, what have we got to work with? I don't know. I wasn't out there. Tell me what you did see, then. Dave just shows up dead, carried by Tyson out of the woods. I flicked him quickly. <laughs> what? On the nose, and he reeled, uh, fumbling and almost falling backwards onto the cushions behind him. Start at the beginning, at the part where you knocked me out. Do that again, and we're going to have issues. 
Naturally, I took the invitation. Hey! Thanatos, you just admitted that you screwed up. How do we fix it? Brat. Jerk. Fine. Uh, so in lieu of you not being able to go out, Oswin picks someone else. Makes sense, right? And that part... And the part that doesn't make sense is why he chose Dave, right? Got it in one. I mean, there it r isn't really any other way that would have played out, right? Explain. Dave would be most likely to volunteer to keep his friends safe. It's the whole reason he finds himself in danger more times than not. Unfortunately, uh, this one was all on Oswin. Dean was ready to volunteer, but he chose Dave for some dumb reason. What was the reason? Dumb reason. I don't know. Never bothered to ask. In the aftermath, everyone was a mess. Oswin pulled you away pretty quick, but things went downhill fast. I was almost scared to ask, drawing back from the sofa a little, but Thanatos knew to continue. Naturally, Memphis shows up. Bombs in tow. Doesn't even bother to use them. What does he do? Dominic and Jack show up. Kill Tyson without him fighting back. Still holding on to Dave. Orlando tries to get in the way of his dad and gets shot. Memphis torches the place with Haas, Oswin, Benson, myself, and you still inside. And Sal? Don't know. I go offline before I get tabs on him. Last I saw, he was outside. I wandered around the sofa and collapsed onto it, running my hands over my face. So I need to be the one that goes in. Well, that's not exactly the takeaway I would have suggested, but... Now our options are pre preventing Day from going in, which removes uh, that outcome from the board entirely, or we engineer a set of circumstances that make him better armed for going out there to begin with. Without knowing how things played out, we'd be guessing. And, uh, in t- in- Iterative- Iter- Iter- I can't word! Fuck you! I can get it! In- Iterative- Iterative? Iterative. Iterative? It- Fuck- uh, test takes, uh, testing takes, well, a really long time. I'll do it if you want, uh, want, me to, want, want me to, though. No, the goal should be, uh, the less inter iterations, the better. Iterations. Iterative? Wait, iterative? Iteration? I can maybe get there. It'll be easier on you. Easier on me in case it goes wrong. Just, I don't know the solution. Want my input? I'm not promising I'll follow it, but sure. You go in. Is highly likely to end in your death. I'm aware. I don't think you do, Master. I do. If it's not my body expiring, it's being killed at the hands of of people more, much more violent, stronger, and healthier than I am. Oh, Wiles not... While Wait, yeah, Wiles will not ensure my survival at any point. But if you're dead, uh, you can... Uh, how can you save Dave? I can't save Dave after I'm dead anyway. Uh, there's every chance that the moment I die, a couple days pass, and a tragic event I have no way of stopping happens to him instead. So it's all meaningless. There's no answer to this problem. You asked me to solve after all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I can only affect uh, their here and now. I can make the best use of my life to give someone else a better one, even if for a little bit longer. It just doesn't seem fair. Life isn't fair. It never is. So, I just have to watch you die. We get to the point that Dave, Dave survives, and that's it. We make that the, we make that the prime timeline, and repeat ad, in, ad infinitum. There's no other option, is there? I thought you liked to gamble. Within reason. Yo, same. Then get Oswin to conduct his own experiment. Make him mix up a cure, and I'll remember the notes for him. 
Use me to save your life rather than Dave's. You've heard it, heard it from him yourself. There isn't a keyword. But there might be. I went to reply, but instead found my mouth tightening in a grimace. And eyes, eyes dropping away. I knew there was a possibility, or was once a possibility. Not anymore. Not in order for this path to even exist. I knew pointing out that sample was a bad idea. It wasn't that you pointed it out. The closer I am to death, the more vivid my resonances are. The less I need to rely on you is to just have that ha have them happen. I didn't expect you to inject yourself with the that's a word sample. But it did work. Treating me for symptoms is easy enough for Oswin as well. Though a body-wide uh, fungal infection alongside whatever uh, de degenerative uh, genetic anomaly is happening to me. Well, one of those was by choice. If you hadn't done that, then Dave would, mo would have likely died already. There was never an option not to go with it if we didn't want to keep repeating those mistakes. I disagree, but there's no point in stopping it now. So, the plan? Keep Dave alive. And to do that, you tell me, Master. I'm going to go set things up that... Uh, th 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 I'm going to set things up so that Dave, under no circumstances, goes into the woods, which definitely goes very well. Then later, I'll go with Oswin. And I'm just meant to watch. Yes, I need you to watch so that if things go bad after I'm in the woods, you call me, uh, you tell me the next time we hit this point. And if I just never tell you about Dave's death, then you're tra trapped repeating this over and over without end. This isn't fair. I just told you your life isn't fair. Uh, well, you, you life isn't fair. And uh, what choice do we have? There's other option. There's another option. What if we just leave? Let them die. Let them all die. But we just pivot into stopping anyone else from getting access. You mean like Memphis? Think about it. He's programmed in. What happens if he gets access to the vault? I don't know. Imagine what could happen if a megalomaniac, gun-toting beast got the ability to see his own mistakes. What damage he could do. He came over and sat in my lap, a squ uh, squirming his way into a comfortable position, and it makes me, um, uh, wait, and in turn makes me rest back into a half slouch. That's what we risk by doing all this. We save Dave, and then what? You die. We somehow make the timeline prime. But what does it do if it ends with Memphis in control? Has that happened yet? No, not yet. But it's been close a few times. What's been the deciding factor? That he gets fed up and destroys the place. And with it, me. But at the cost of everyone else too, no doubt. You don't need a... You don't need me to confirm that for you. Just know that we're in a much... In so much danger, it isn't funny. I never said it was hilarious, just... Tell me that I made the right choice. I don't think I'm quite built for right or wrong calculations. I just do as I'm told. And you told me to save your friends. So, if I never asked, then I'd be stuck watching this vacation play out over and over, watching you all die, and it all ending in that fire. Great. I pick him up and sit him back down on my shoulder, uh, going to the door, going to the door to the room. Okay. Okay. I think we will end it there, folks. Uh, I will see you around.